Hey y'all, we're back at it again. It's your girl, Miss Tink. That's M I C Z, not M I S S. You already know, Chaz, not your pose. Sister TV, y'all, we're here to talk about Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season, what is it, four, episode three, New Bay. And before I even get into my video, which I will be doing for the remainder of the time that this hair is done like this, because if you didn't see the first video, I'm about to say it now. Shout out to my girl, Jamila. Her information will be in the description box below for the remainder of the time that this hair is done and y'all go check her out okay okay and let her know that miss tink or you can call me tink she know me by both well basically by tink not not the actual government okay but let her know that she sent you cut well i sent you where she came at anyways she did this shit why well, i call this shit she did my hair okay y'all know what the hell i mean okay don't judge my mouth my mind or my heart look it's just me okay but she did my hair and I love it, so y'all check her out. Let's get into this review. All right, y'all, uh, we back at it. Excuse the nurse, you know, that they, my neighbors upstairs. Y'all know how it is when you stay in the middle, okay? Second floor. Anyways, let's get into it. Princess is back. Mrs. Princess Ray J, whatever she want to call the girl, right on, you know, cute, get right on, you got them. She's here to support A1 and Lyric, um, I guess their new business um, event with, you know, their music and their label, whatever. Um, Alexis Sky is also there, too. Apparently, Alexis Sky and Princess are friends after one month. And Alexis Sky's with this old ugly ass dude. Lord Jesus. I know it ain't right to cop. Baby, is it the new trend now to bleach whatever hair you have left? Is that the new style for men these days? Because, baby, it's not working for you. But, okay, girl. Whatever his name is, I, I get that name late. I wasn't really paying attention. I just could hardly understand. Like, all right, Alexis guy. You still over here so harping on Masika, but you've been with this nigga for a month. You need to be worried about his ass. And then especially worrying about his ass due to the fact that, you know, her and Princess was talking or whatever. You know, Princess trying to have a baby. So, she want to drink a little water. And Alexis guy now, she talk about she might be pregnant because... They missed it. You know, both of them missed their periods. And I'm like, well, okay. And apparently, oh boy, got baby mama issues. So you sitting over here worried about Masika so damn much, but you got your own shit. Girl, what are your own grass before you go on to the next bitch? Fatty Wub, you know, lazy eye motherfucker is so yesterday. He haven't dropped a hit yet. I haven't heard this shit on the radio, so y'all correct me if I'm wrong, okay? But girl, you over here worried about this shit when you got your other shit? Anyways, bye. 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 So, um, A1 is performing. Um, the name is song. To the name of the song is Toot That Whoa Whoa. I like the beat though, but the name. Okay, we see um, Mama Lyrica and Pam. Pam got that new fresh purple do. All right, girl, got that crochet wig, whatever it's called, girl. You you still trying it, girl? I saw you trying to twer twerk your little thing or whatever, girl. Get it on. Get it on. And it's nice to see that the mama's getting along because we all know what happened last season. But everything quickly switched when we see, you know, Miss Lyrica already checking A1 time I come over here. And then Mama Lyrica put the bug in the air, although A1 diverted that shit real quick. Talking about, you know, we, we over here doing this A1 thing, but what about Lyrica stuff? So apparently Lyrica stuff is on the back burner, so she don't want A1 working with no other female. I'm like, oh my God, Lord, here we go. Here we go. And A1, stay letting us know. That nigga got seven singles hits out on the radio right now, y'all. So whatever them seven is, y'all correct me because I don't know. And I don't feel like researching it. He got them out there, y'all. And them some knockers. So right on, A1. Promote, but I'm tired of hearing it. Anyways, okay. Um, So, you know, after that, that the mamas go there. We're talking about, you know, he doing this and doing that. Like, what's up? And, of course, A1 was like, look, here's some damn money. Go get y'all something to drink and get the hell out of my business. I'm, that's pretty much how he put it in. Swerve. And Lyrica, she like, you know, just already started talking that shit and she walks off. And I mean, I kind of understand where she coming from as far as working on her project. But girl, if you really bought that music shit, if it really was in your heart even before you got with A1, you would have had a plan A through Z. If he says no, when one door closes, go open up another one or find another one that's open on least cracked. That's a better opportunity to get you out there. I'm just saying, if you want it that bad, stop waiting on your husband and do what the fuck you got to do for yourself. Because at the end of the day, that's coming out of your you know, your vocal cords, your voice, your passion, your heart, you know what I'm saying, whatever, your art, however you want to call it. Handle your business, because if you really cherish it that bad, can't nobody stop you, not even your motherfucking husband. I'm just saying, but all right, girl. Okay, anyways, 
after that, um, you see the guys talking. Like I said, you know, they got whatever. And that was Alexis Scott. I already got that out the way. My bad, y'all. And kudos to Princess being happy. Kudos. Anyways. Um, after that, we see Tierra. She's all up in a great place. And she with Cisco Nabisco. You know what I'm saying? Cisco done jumped from Creep Squad in New York. Now he, you know, going to sunny LA with Tierra. I think it's for the show, but whatever. Um, Tierra talking about she in a great place. They've been talking for three months. You know, apparently, you know, Cisco really like her because, you know, his back issue, you know, his spinal stuff, whatever, whatever happened to him, got you, got you. Glad you made it through, boo. You know, if it's serious or not, you know, still that ain't nothing to play with medically. But she was there for him. So now they're in a great place and she wants him to meet her friends. And he like, well, you know, I got X, Y, and Z and all of this, but he'll still do it for her. And I'm like, okay, all right, we should see. I don't, like I said, how they went back and forth, talking about how they feel about one another. I'm sorry, I feel like it's for the cameras, but hey, it is what it is, girl. You happy, you happy. Anyways, uh, Safari and his coconut oil event, and you can't blame a brother for sitting up here plugging his product at every chance he get. The nigga got the jar, got the label, got it. Go on, Safari. I ain't mad at you, okay? Plug your shit. Make your motherfucking paper. You got to bounce back somehow. I feel you. Anyways, because them royalties, even though they coming in, I know you probably want more money. Anyway, Chanel West Coast performance. I did not care for the song. I'm sorry, I really didn't, but whatever. And next we see Brooke and Crimson Chin, aka Nia Riley, come in. Like, Crimson, are they just putting you in just to so they can pay you some type of check because of whatever promise they made to your father, Teddy Riley? I'm just saying it. I'm just saying. Because what? Why are you? Anyways, okay. So Brooke and Nia show up. They go in, um, basically introduce themselves, and Brooke went straight for Jade and asked Jade to come, whatever, talk to her, and they go to the side. Of course, we got, you know, Botch Barbie and Safari watching, and Chanel West Coast there too. So they get to question each other, and Brooke, girl, let me tell you, you did that shit all motherfucking wrong. You should have kept it cute. And y'all, I have to be on Jade's side with this in a sense, because when she said straight up, you getting mad at me over a nigga that lied to, you know, basically got me thinking I'm the only motherfucking one. I'm just paraphrasing it. That is very true. You need to take that shit up with Marcus. Get your answers, ask your questions, get your answers, and then take that shit up with him. But doing all that extra shit, talk about I'm this, I'm that, you're divorcing him so he can be with me. She talking about she known him for 12 years. Well, look, boo, obviously... You need to talk that shit up with Marcus, bro. But doing that extra shit, girl, bye. Real talk. I'm sorry. I was on Jade's side on this one. Brooke, you look dumb. Now, Chanel West Coast, sit your ass down somewhere. I understand you want to ride for your girl, but ain't nobody threw no damn drinks or talking about, bitch, I'm going to beat your ass. So you need to shut the fuck up and let the paralegal handle her shit. Did you just be there for bitch throw, try to throw something? You know, or if Nia, you know, Crimson try to throw that chin at her. That's what you be there for. Okay. Anyways, so, um, girl, Miss Jade, stop giving Brooke that much compliments. Talk about she's a, a faded R&B star. What? Girl, a one-hit wonder. Sorry, Brooke, you can sing, but girl, let's keep it real. Girl fight was just about it. I, you tried to come out with something and the shit didn't even go. I'm just keeping it real. Don't even play that shit no more. Whatever single you tried to drop out here, okay, after girl fight. Okay, stop that. But anyways, y'all just look stupid. Not not Jade, but Brooke, you look dumb as fuck. And she walked out of there and just looked so damn stupid. And Chanel, you yelling about a feather and it girl, shut up. Shut up, tell me I'm she this, I'm my I'm girl bye. Anyways, off that shit. Um, Monice and Nia and um, you know, the big bad Beetleborg himself, the reject, Zell, they all talking or whatever, and they gossip about the whole thing with Masika and him, and Bonis kept it real, like, you don't be sitting over here fraternizing with the enemy that don't like your friend or whatever, but we all know they was just friends for the camera, they wasn't really friends, I'm talking about Zell and Monis. I mean, not Zell and Monis, Zell and uh, Masika. Anyways, um, then also Masika was like, not Masika, Monis like, you should have stayed out of it, which I agree, but she also says, if Masika acted like that towards you and went off on you, which she did, then that wasn't right. True that too, but he still should have stayed out of it because he was messy as hell. Then that's when um, they bring up the whole thing of the invite to meet um, Cisco and Nabisco or whatever, and they talk about they want to go, but apparently, you know, Nabisco called Monisa a bitch, but they're going to try to be, you know, team open-minded and team non-judgmental, you know what I'm saying? So, good luck with that, I guess. Anyways, Alexis, me know what I do. I don't know his name or whatever. I'm just going to call him...
bleach checker face. Okay, or something. I, I make up a name because I, I just can't remember it. But whatever, bleach carrot top. That's what I'll name him. He, they meet up and talking or whatever. She like, how you feel about me? And then she lets him know that you know I might be pregnant or whatever. And he all happy. She thinking that you know he might be mad. But what I cannot get over is how fucking shady Mona is. You mean to tell me out of all them pictures of Alexis Sky, you mean to tell me you couldn't pick the one that didn't have them fucked up comments? On the side of her picture. Really, Mona? Them damn comments was going the fuck in. Because, you know, after she asked him how he, how he feel about it, he, he let her know, like, you know, she's solid and all that shit. And that damn IG pic came and all them fucked up ass. Mona, you ain't shit for that. Real t Out of all the pictures, really? Okay, whatever. Anyway, she's worried about his baggage, a.k.a. his baby mom. Apparently, she coming after her money. And I understand the bitch don't play with her money, but that's what I don't understand with you, Alexa Sky. Like, you doing all this shit to Masika when you need to be worrying about your own shit because Masika ain't thinking about you. You really look stupid now. So this is, you go from Masika to this quote-unquote storyline. In other words, roles are reversed now. Okay? I mean, I'm just saying, at least that's a baby mama. You're not even a baby mama of Fatty Wap. And you coming after Masika. Just be glad you ain't one. Just stupid. Worry about your own nigga. Real nigga shit. Anyways, they go back and forth. You talking about what am I supposed to do? Dumb ass shit. If that don't show that that nigga don't give a fuck if he asking this dumb ass question. But then again, it's only a month, girl. Really? Yeah. For the show. For the show. But she get mad and walk off, I guess. Ray J acting all hard and shit or whatever. They acting real hard about Hazel Lee rapping him and Safari or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck? Ever. And Hazelie, watch that damn word called a legend. Ray J ain't no motherfucking legend. If he is a legend, he's a legend of being what? Brandy's little brother. Okay? That nigga ain't no motherfucking legend. They don't even play one wish. Or wait a minute. The fuck? Oh my God. Y'all in these words. Girl, check your dictionary or thesaurus or something. Legend? Oh Lord, girl. Just like you got that damn beak shaved in, girl. Your brain must have went in too. Anyways. Anyways, they was pumping her up or whatever, talking about, you know, she sound good, I guess. Then that's when um, Cisco Nabisco come in there and they all talking or whatever. Hazelie talking about she want to work with Safari now. And that's where they introduced the whole Chanel West Coast little thing and Girl Code and Safari and Chanel West Coast. And, you know, the exotic reject bird herself. Why I call that hoe exotic? Yeah, the, you know, the beak herself. They're going to work together. Whatever. Then Cisco gets to talking about how he with Tierra. And I liked how Ray J was very supportive of her and him being together and everything. And let her know that, you know, me and Tierra was in the past. But if this dude make her happy to make her shine like the queen she is, I'm all here for it. And I like that. But come to find out, Cisco, Cisco, Cisco Nabisco is having some issues with the fact that Tierra is drinking so damn much. So since they got back to L.A., she been drinking. I'm like, ooh, okay. And like Safari said... When you are dating a girl out in L.A., you dating the friends, too. So, Cisco Nabisco, be ready. Mm -hmm. After that, A1 meets with Marcus Black. That shit got cut short quick. Um, I forgot what song they did together, but I did hear it before. Um, Brooke Valentine came in. A1 already knew what time it was and got the fuck on. Like, yes, get back to the studio to your wife. You got other shit to worry about. We'll get on her ass in a second. She tell him to bring um Jade to come through. Jay gets called up coming through. She comes sit down and then as Marcus is talking, Brooke bring her ass around or whatever and they all talking. Now, Brooke, this is again where you fucked up at. I'm going to have to get on your ass now. Let the motherfucker talk. You saw him saying whatever he was supposed to be scripted to say because this shit ain't real to me. And you sit over here interrupting. Let the motherfucker say what he has to say. I was so with Jay like, Mom, shut up and let him talk. Like, Brooke, let the motherfucker talk. He trying to get it out, bitch. Damn. You trying to start a girl fight for no reason when you need to be popping his ass, not her. Fuck. Anyways, they go. She, he, I wasn't. I got over. I wasn't even feeling that shit no more. After she kept over talking. I was just like, Jay, thank you. Anyways, he talking about if we ain't nothing, we ain't nothing. He just saying that, putting on the front for the cameras and in front of Brooke. They walk out together, and Brooke making it seem like they together. But then she want to sit up here and say we're done. No, bitch, you should have did that in front of the bitch. Like, come on now, you look stupid. I'm just. Girl, oh, Lord. So, I guess they through for now. For now. Because we see what the, you know. Uh, anyways, I guess. Princess is in her feelings. And I was like, I feel so sorry for her. Because I hope and pray I don't go through this kind of shit when I try to have a baby. So, I'm with you. And I hope you do have one, girl. 
Okay, and I'm glad they put this out there because it kind of touched me. Princess is upset because she can't get pregnant. It's still negative. Ray J asked, still have yet to tell her that his soldiers are standing down. Okay, and just tell her. That's your wife. Just tell her. So they're going to go practice again, but again, to be let down again because the soldiers are standing down. But I still like the fact that he consoled her. Anyways, Lyrica in the studio, she sound good. Um, She's... In the middle of, you know, getting correction from A1. And A1 has a meeting with this, um, not this girl, but Ty Dolla Sign's um, sister or whatever. Real pretty girl. So, Ty Dolla Sign's sister and um, her manager is there. And Lyrica, like, wait a minute, what meeting? Come to find out, Lyrica got penciled in because this meeting was made way before, you know, Lyrica got in that studio. So, girl, your man got to conduct business to put bread on the table. Okay, I'm sorry. He still got a multitask. You know, multitask. You multitask. You know what the fuck this was. Anyways, so he go out and meet with her. Now, A1, you was fucking wrong for this shit. How you handled this shit was all wrong. Both you and Lyrica was both in the wrong. He go out there to talk to her, basically tell her, I can't sign you X, Y, and Z. And they like, why? Then go gets Lyrica and say, you know, my wife's going to tell you why. And Lyrica like, what? So, Lyrica and A1, both of y'all motherfuckers was in the wrong and very unprofessional. And Lyrica is a time and a place. But for you to act like that in front of them people on camera and you want to get your music out there, that makes you look bad and your man look bad. And who really going to want to work with you or listen to your shit? You talking about you got fans? Okay. I haven't heard your shit, but maybe it's a California thing. And maybe it's a love and hip hop fan base too, mix all in one. But that's fine. But how you acted... When his business being tended to was very, 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 very wrong. To sit up here and go at that lady like that and then um, Ty Dolla Sign's sister had to break that shit up. Girl, take your ass back to PR class or whatever etiquette school you thought you graduated from because that was so fucking wrong. Real talk because we all know a bad compliment or a bad comment gets around quicker than a good one. And what you did on national TV was very fucked up. And A1, that was wrong how you did that shit too and handled it. So... They go back and forth. She explains on why she don't want whatever. Gets all rude with the lady. They go their separate ways and um, basically end the meeting. And then she gets mad at A1 and basically calls him thirsty. Throws some water. I don't know what he threw at her, but the aim was all wrong. But girl, don't act like you wouldn't have felt some type of way if that shit would have hit your ass. And we would have all went in on him for throwing something at you. So stop it. I think the producers threw it and not him. But whatever. I could be wrong. But girl, no ma'am. Anyways, off that shit. Lyrica. Time and place for everything. Very, very wrong. Still, it doesn't matter how he ambushes you. You still need to conduct yourself as a lady, especially when people are watching and you trying to get, you know, your shit off the ground. Anyways, Tierra and friends meet up. They all talking with Cisco Nabisco. It was going all fine. Cisco Nabisco even addressed the whole thing about calling Monice a bitch. I think Cisco was in the middle of apologizing, but this is when Zell asked when to jump in there and talk about, oh, he was crying. Zell. That was really not your place. You should have let the man talk. And I'm sorry. I'm glad Cisco got his ass up because we all know how Cisco can be. But Zell, you was way out of line. And we already see that Tierra was fucking drunk. And of course, Tierra lied to Monisa's face talking about she working out and having been drinking. Girl, clearly. No, she haven't. Where? In Neverland. Or maybe her drunk land. But no, ma'am. Anyways. So, Monisa already sees what it is. Cisco Nabisco don't want to hear it. He gets up and walk out. Tierra gets all in her feelings and start crying like, why this and why that? Y'all be like this. And, you know, Monique's kept it real. Like, we your friends. You know what I'm saying? We keep it real with you. And when shit falls down, we going to always be here. But Zell, you was wrong for that, though. So even though Tierra tried to get up and go get her man or whatever, they all see that her ass is already drunk. You can see she like, well, she been feeling that wine a little too much. So mm -hmm, I don't know. But we all know Cisco Nabisco did say she been changing since she been in L.A., so I'm thinking she probably put up a farce, but again, this is acting at its worst. She go out and try to talk to him or whatever. You can already see she drunk. She stumbling. Talking about, you almost fell. I almost fell. I'm not going to let you fall, but I almost fell. But did you fall? I'm like, can y'all please stop going back and forth? The bitch is drunk, okay? So she says, I don't want you to go. He's like, look, I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go back. I'm in a cab. You can either stay with your friends or come with me. Overall, she picks him, and her ass almost falls again. He like, what you been drinking? Yeah, you ain't never seen this side of Tierra before. Look like Tierra did a little lying. But that's pretty much how that shit ends. It was okay. I'm waiting to see next week because we see Booby and, you know, Brooke and all of this shit. I'm like, is this her comeback as far as for more? I, 
Mm, whatever. Brooke, you look stupid as fuck. You made yourself look dumb. Alexa Sky Girl, go on with yourself and start wor and start worrying about what the fuck you need to worry about because apparently the baby mama gonna confront your ass next week. So look like the roles in reverse and you are Masika. It's just the difference is Masika ain't get confronted by no baby mama on TV. Your ass signed on the dotted line to do this shit and make your ass look stupid by coming after Masika and got your own shit to worry about. Whatever. Any fucking ways. That's it, y'all. We gonna be back at it again next week. I don't know if I'm probably do some videos in between. Before I go, shout out to my girl Jamila for my braids, girl. Information will be in the description box below. As far as for her Facebook, Instagram information, let her know that Miss Tink sent you. And I am Miss Tink, that's M-I-C-C, not M-I-S-S. You already know the channel's Natural Pilots. This is TV, y'all. I want to send a special prayer out to everybody out in Houston, Texas cities, around, and New Orleans that was affected by this water. Y'all be safe out there. Get to your destinations. Get home to your families and all that safe and sound. My prayers are with y'all. All right, y'all. Deuces. Bye.